when are we going to realize that there is nothing like miracle money that is nothing like you expecting a lot where you have not worked for money and you'll be expecting a lot until we realize it that there is nothing like miracle money we will not fall this victim with this our beautiful nollywood actress first so my people i'm going to play this video so that we all will listen to her how she fall for uh, you are going to receive a lot god i hear your cry you know how can you believe such thing when you did not work you will be expecting money it doesn't work that way so guys we are going to watch this video together let's just listen to her how she lost all her service just because of a man she met on the road that was telling her that God have heard her cry, God is going to surprise her, a lot is going to come, you know, miracle a lot. It doesn't work that way. So let's watch it together so that who we'll not go for this kind of thing tomorrow. I mean, I, should, I don't know what I go call them all, all these so called Christian, where they say, they don't know, say, if you not work, you not go chop. That is say because say you be Christian, you know how to pray January to December. Miracle money go they appear. You know they work like that. So watch this video so that you go learn. Good evening, everyone. This is an advice to everyone, and also an experience I passed through yesterday on my way going back from location. An elderly man came across to me and asked me if I know a way to Divine Hospital. And I told him I don't know anywhere in Asaba, apart from the places I go for work. Then I said he should wait a minute, he should just give me a minute, let me go nearby and ask someone. So the person would come and direct him. And I went to a shop, I, called, I asked the guy if he knows somewhere that, uh, that, that is called Divine Mercy Hospital. He said yes. I said, please come and come along and uh, give this man the direction. But he's stranded and he said he has someone that is about to die in the hospital. Then, after that, the guy now came and gave the man the direction. So I now decided to go a little uh, away from that place to get something for myself to eat. The man now came with his car and said I should stop that he has a vision for me, he saw a vision for me. I said, okay, I'm listening. He said, my mom left three years ago, two of us. I said, true. And my dad died when I was a little. I said, yes. He said, I should not worry that today marks the end of my suffering because he has seen that I've been struggling since my mom left. I said, yes, sir. He said, I should wipe my tears that everything is going to be all right. After that, he now said, I should just wipe away my tears. I said, thank you so much. He asked me if I'm a Christian. I said, yes, I'm a Christian. He now introduced himself as a Reverend Father. Reverend Father Jude, that's what he calls his name. His name. And said that he saw, saw a miracle going to happen on my way. That God has already answered my prayer because I have been suffering for long. So he now said, okay, do I have my ATM? I said, yes. He said, a big amount of money is going to enter my account. That is the way that God wants to wipe away my tears. I said, I believe in God. He told me that he loves that. He loves people that love God. He now said, I should bring out my ATM. So he will pray on, on top of that my ATM so that the miracle will manifest. I brought out my ATM. He now prayed. I asked me to pray also. I prayed with my pure heart. He now gave me paper said so I should wrap my ATM. I wrapped the ATM. He now said so I should after he now laid a prayer on that ATM and said from today I'll be seeing miracles. God have already answered my prayers. I said thank you so much sir. So he now said so I should put down my ATM inside my small purse. That I should not bring it out so that all these boys walking around in the night will not collect it from me. I said okay sir. I put it inside the bag exactly the way he told me. Then for me to enter KK from traffic junction and reaching uh, access bank junction, I saw a debit alert. 
I was like, what did I do with my money? Because I didn't go to anybody, I didn't go to POS. I was just cross-checking that in, uh, in my memory and I saw another debit alert. Behold, this man just debited my lifetime savings. Money I've been saving all this while. He just collected it from me for no reason. Immediately I got home, what I saw in the exchange of my ATM card was this. This is what I got in place of my ATM. I cried and I know that crying will solve the problem. I also went to the uh, uh, bank. They said they can't do anything. Even if I t uh, take the case to the police people, they will not do anything. And I laid a course on that man. I laid a course with the spirit of my late mom and my late father because he used it against me and also used God's name against it. Please. I know that this video will go viral and he will come across this video. Wherever you are, Mr. Er whether you call yourself Reverend Father Jude or anything you call yourself, your cup has already been filled up. This is your last bus stop. And I pray God will surely judge you. The cry of an orphan will never go in vain. God will surely judge you wherever.